is how the rotor looks after a quick clean. This is how every rotor should look. You always want this. So free space is clean. Second one is clean. Third one is also clean. We have the markings there which is RC rear and then it has a, the weight the weight is this, it's C weight rear rotor weight C let me go ahead and grab a, um, and use a 2 millimeter apex seal so we can check the groups we have a good 2 millimeter apex seal here Let's try to see the groups. Like I told you guys before, you're gonna grab the apex seal. Basically, what what you need and what you have to see is put them in the group and slide it side by side. It has to go all the way through without getting stuck, without getting stuck. Put them, you put them all the way in, right there. Are you gonna drag it? There you go. As you can see, this one is clean. In side, good. We're gonna try the next one. You want to do it too? There. There you go. Let's try the next one. So this one is good. Too bad. The bearings spin out. Whenever you're moving the rotors around, you want to make sure you have a piece of carver on there. Or if you're going to spin it, you put it anywhere flat and you're going to go gentle. That's how you spin it. If you don't have any carver or anything under. So you go here, spin it around. Because you will never want to touch these corners or any of the uh, edge grooves with the, with the bare metal. You don't want to do that. If not, you're going to damage it. So you're gonna careful. This one so far is trash. I still have to remove the bearing. Remember I told you this groove or this key of the bearing is supposed to be lining this one with the groove. So this thing is spinning around. So let me go ahead and um, try to find an old bearing or, or my tool so I can remove the bearing.